Hello and welcome to something different. It is some more regiments. It's been a while since I actually played this on the channel. Um, been a very long time, uh, but I really enjoy this game. I think this for me is the. Uh, I'll be honest. I I enjoy war and all and war games from a certain perspective, but it always gets too clusterfucky, too many units, and I can't really keep control of everything. It kind of just ends into blob move, Protoss like, like RTS, and I don't really enjoy that, because I'm more of a tactics type of guy. So this has always been a right skill for me, and there has been a new DLC, and I have been, I'll, I'll just preface this really, really quickly, I have been offered a key by, by um, Micropros and so for other marketing uh, channels and I've declined it because I wanted to purchase this for myself because I think this developer that's behind this really deserves the financial support as well and I don't think my channel is big enough that it will lead to enough sales that it can offset right the giving them me a key because uh, I doubt that anyway winter change is here it's new it's uh it's the DLC it has some new cool stuff in there and I'll just quickly go through the DLC like the main features and uh what we, you know, what you can expect from it in case you're still wondering. So we have a couple of new things is, uh, we got the procedural campaigns in the Warpaths mode that you can see uh, right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have the new French, Dutch, Canadian and Czechoslovakian regiments that have become available. So that's pretty damn cool. We've got a lot of new tactical options, mostly with in regards to helicopter troops, fighter jets, and there's about 70 new vehicles and weapon systems in the game. And I think it is fucking awesome. Let's go Warpaths. I already have a Dutch campaign going on here with the 12th Panzer van Infantry Brigade. The first decision of 75 of the Gallic Corps. I'm not going to do another one of the Dutch one, which, of course, if you may have noticed that I can actually pronounce that shit. Why can you do that? Because I'm Dutch. And I know it sounds like Elvish to some people, but it is an actual language. It's a joke, but it is a language. And considering that France is new, I think I kind of want to like to check them out. Let's see what we got. Let's get some Amex 3Bs. I always liked French shit, so... Um, not literal, by the way. Uh, let's see, this seems to be more of an infantry brigade, but it has no tanks, which is kind of annoying. I think I'll just go with this 6th Division Légère Blindé, which has some AMX-10 RC motorized vehicles, VLTTs. I don't know what it is. amx bs are tanks. Then we've got some mechanized with the VOP Legion. We've got some engineering vehicles with the VOP 12.7. So Pearls with machine gun, we've got HQs with a Rollins, which are just, you know, rocket launcher systems. We get some couple of gazelles and very hot gazelles. I think the first gazelle scouting, you know what? That works for me. I think I'm gonna keep this all as is. I, I always like increasing accuracy, but I think I'm gonna just go for standard settings right now so you get the most vanilla experience. And I will turn on random events because I genuinely like random events. We'll put it in medium because hard is really fucking hard and I kind of just want to play around a little bit. So let's go to battle. What do we have? So we can, you can actually choose. So we can choose to like uh, as a meeting engagement. So we're both going to fight or we could choose to defend against the enemy. I think for now, I'm thinking just going to go with uh, proceed with the main plan. Sounds like a fun thing that we can do. Now I could Restore some more units. I think that's for now fine. We already have some Jaguar Napalms. So that's pretty cool. So what I can do is I can up my deployment points. I like the idea of having a little bit of deployment points. I like some more tactical supports. So we can call this in a little bit more often. Um, I've never really seen too much use of this. This basically occasionally you get like a ping like, hey, we know that our units over there. But I've never really seen it as a night like, oh, yeah, I do need to have that. And if we want to get some other stuff, like this is all super expensive. Uh, this is like your Amex 3B. So this would lead, this would gift us with some more Jaguar bombs, whatever we upgrade it. Uh, Recon is usually one of my weaker sides. And this has Jaguar bombs. If we upgrade it, we got some AT systems in here. Uh, you know what? I think we actually, ooh, or we could save up some points and maybe get for the helicopter teams. We get some air patrols. Air patrols are actually really nice, especially if the enemy has uses a lot of air system. It's a new feature and, hold on, maybe can I discard my changes and get this guy in? Yes, we'll call this in. Got some more development points. I think that will work. Supplies for now is fine. We don't really need any upgrades. I think with 35 points here, we want to get some more deployment points ASAP. But I like the idea of the gazelles, so get some air superiority, because that's some of the new stuff that's in. 
120 points for the upgrade, and then we get the air patrol and we can keep going. I think I like where we are going. What event do we have today? We have Blitz. Phase lasts five minutes less, but we have more supply points and more deployment points during this phase. Okay, cool. I like this, by the way, randomized, because then you can't really plan as well for it. And it seems, and uh, I don't know if this also works for like our opponent, um, but uh, yeah, you know. It is by all a single player game, so it is. Uh, I like the unpredictiveness of warfare, like a good plan, um, uh, a, a a war plan or a plan of war works until you know you until you actually meet the enemy. So here we are. This is the field of battle, and let's go over the objects. We got Echo, which is uh, let's see where is Echo right here. So we want to defend this. Now we do have, of course, friendly AI. And the enemy points are Papa and Oscar. And considering the way the terrain looks, hmm, Kilo would be a good initial strike, or we move in from November and go over to Papa. That might not be bad, because then we dig in here around November. Right, because this is one of their approach points. We probably can dig in there a little bit. Then strike downwards, which is more advantageous to us because we're hitting them from the back. Get some nice hill that we can use for some fire support. And we can use that also to kind of just cut off their in, uh, the input. And then after that, we might be able to strike. Because where's my deployment points? From here, we can move up to Foxtrot, strike at Kilo Juliet. And then maybe group up and strike over to Oscar. I think that is the plan that we're going to try to do. But now we need to actually do it. Do it. Uh, we have a deployment point down from here. That's quite far away, though. So maybe I should strike through the middle and just... You know what? Yeah, no. Uh, ignore what I just said. I'm going to strike through the middle, go for Kilo, and then hit in here. And we'll kind of all figure it out. We'll figure it out. What's the worst that could happen? So, this is a 20mm recon helicopter, but this one does, ex does actually have some weapons, so I do like these a little bit more than none have, have weaponized. So, hot gazelles, it's they got a heat missile, that's pretty good. So, we'll also get one of those. Uh, Roland anti air is always useful to have, and I kind of like the idea of having my HQ nearby. Now, we're not using artillery because we're going to use helicopters instead of artillery, and I don't need to supply right now. So, I do want some tanks. We'll set them there as well. We don't need engineers because I don't think they have a lot of defenses. So what do we have in here? Some infantry with some uh, high explosive anti-tanks. So these are like really scouty units. I uh, definitely want a couple of those. See if we can get some eyes in on here on Kilo. Uh, these are some tracked vehicles, which is pretty nice. And maybe I don't actually need these guys. If I say, if I cancel this one. Right, so I think I'll maybe not be able to cancel it anymore. No, I don't think I can. Hmm. Okay. Because uh, then I may have been able to get another helicopter, but I don't think so. They may have cost 50 points. Anyway, they've got a very good stealth modifier, so I don't think these guys have weapons, so that's also like a big advantage. So there we go. Uh, let's unpause and let things go. We'll start harassing a little bit with our helicopters. Okay, these VLTs. Uh, get fast move over there. And we move over there. And I want these guys to fast move over there. And wow, this is all pretty. This looks pretty good. So fast move into this position over here and I will see what we can do. Right, 20 mil gazelles. Now, I don't think they have. They get to deep off here. That would be a little bit strange. No, they don't. This shows you what terrain type there is. Um. So we need to be a little bit careful because I don't, like I said, I don't know what I have. And we can actually check. If you hold shift, you see by the way the unit. If you hold C, you can have from the mouse pointer. Let's see what we can uh, find any... Ah, right, so look right there. I think we can actually hold fire on these guys because I don't want them to engage that. So we don't know what it is. And this is... It is a weapon range. Okay, so already, okay, this is kind of nice. So there's some dug-in strikers that are now taking pot shots at that thing. It's been already been destroyed. Okay, so let's move up a little bit. I want to get some more potential vision on it. Now the enemy will be attacking 
back, so we kind of need to prepare for that as well. Um, all right, so we're going to put the Rollins right here. Uh, I'm going to get these guys right there and then unload them, and then we'll walk through here, because I think that we can use the defensive position from here. Uh, what was it? Set these guys up over here for now. I'm a pretty turtly player, by the way, so just in case you're wondering like, why you're playing so passive. Well, there you go. Um... Okay, now these are not coming with any inventory right now. Let's move up a little bit. Kind of surprised we haven't seen a lot more, but I suspect at least one more unit to be on this point. But it might be this... Yeah, there you go. Okay, they immediately spotted our gazelles. So let's retreat these a little bit. Because as long as they're not destroyed, we can use the, uh... Okay, so let's unload you and... Just keep going through there and move in. Amex, can you engage that? And I'm going to get these scouting units. I'm going to move them into that little forestry there. And let's bring her in a supply point so we can start repairing these gazelles because I really would not like them to be destroyed. And let's start also peppering them with the... Uh... With the, uh, with the, with the, uh, other gazelles that we have. Get some, uh... Some artillery coming in. So we kind of want to start moving these guys a little bit. Alright, cool. Let's retreat these back up a little bit. And... There we go there. Oh, we got a heavy smoke barrage coming in. Well, we've got to just... Uh... Ah, it looks like these guys have incredibly good range. It would have been really nice if we had any form of artillery, but uh, we can actually group these guys back up. But it looks like my guys actually have the range to engage them, so that's pretty good. Uh, I do want you to retreat into here. Do not turn around. Keep your eyes towards the enemy, please. So they got suppressed. Ah, sort of be expected, I guess. Uh, where is that? Okay, these guys are coming in. Ah, I want to repair that first. Okay, so what is weapon range are we looking at here? Okay, let's hold fire on these so we can actually get an eye on the enemy. Why are you guys panicking? You should be more than fine, buddy. Um, I think it's because of a lot of artillery is coming in. I need 40 points for these Jaguar strikes, which I like to st strike at these mortars here. Okay, so Kilo got captured. Nice, okay. I could just Arty strike this. That's probably not even a bad idea. Now, as far as I understand it, these aircraft, you kind of guide them into the area and they will take uh, a shot at you. So these guys are now losing units, I think. For now, I'm going to retreat them. And eh, for now, we'll be fine. Ah, right, so you see, we can also see some uh, stuff there. Now, these helicopters are repaired. Good. There we go. Let's move up here. And let's see what we can do from there. I might retreat these scout gazelles, because we already have these guys, and they seem to be performing it pretty well. Okay, we lost our panic. That's good. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's some... Um, that's some... Um, they used to have to cut their own uh, AT system. We still have the chopper, so that's good. But, so, but that does mean that we can't use our helicopters to engage it from that angle. Well, we could probably... Yeah, we could just pepper them from here. This, these guys don't have the range, I think, to uh, to hit me. Does mean, however, that the airstrike is not an option. So we're just going to pepper it with artillery then. I'm wondering how they fucking can see that. I am lacking artillery, and that is rather annoying. Uh, okay, these guys are out of ammo. So we're just going to retreat them back. Where did I put my scout helicopters? Right here. I think I'm going to retreat these and get another... Because um, with the lack of artillery, I think it's better to just have these guys in. Um, how many points would this cost? 20... Oh, oh no, no. Continue. It escaped to deselect, but uh, 
Yeah, these guys are dug in and we're hitting them from the front, so it's gonna be a little bit annoying. But look, I always look, love the detail that is in here. I know this game in certain regards is simplified in a lot of systems because like there is no actual buildings and that kind of stuff, but I do like how this works. There is some light aside. It is, and especially considering that this, I don't know if this is still true, but this used to be a one-man project. And I think that does reserve, uh, deserve a little bit of credit. Um, yeah, start engaging them. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So they would not be able to really see past that. But they can't see in the forest, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, so I kind of want to get these guys to start moving over here and then sneak into the forest right there. Yeah, immediately getting some artillery hits in. That's kind of... A that artillery is also pretty damn accurate, I'll be honest. Okay. Well, yeah, we definitely have a problem, lack of artillery. Probably want to see if we can pick some more up. Or we need to focus a little bit heavier on Air Force. Okay, that's one down. Okay, there we go. So the range is rather low on these, so I kind of want to sneak them around the back here. And then get them to over there and see what we can do. I'm a little bit worried that these that our tanks are taking a little bit more punishment than is necessary. We'll cycle these guys out, we'll cycle these guys in. Because if we can take this... Ah, and that is why you have a, a Roland AA system in your rear. I think I'm going to actually move these guys up a little bit and we'll start staging them from here. Zone lost. Uh, zone lost. Okay, so this is the counterattack thing that we were talking about. Like, they are attacking as well, so they managed to get their own zone. Um, so basically, it's like a 2v2 at all times. Okay, Gazelle got hit. But, uh... Okay, so unload, start hitting... As long as I got ammo and oh, the Roland is no longer. I think they might have an air, an anti-air system going up. I'm gonna need to uh, do this. I'm gonna set these guys here in the rear, the HQ, so to boost the uh, AMX. Okay, so, hmm. Okay, suppress. I should not attack as accurate. Okay, fuck my one of my Gazelle teams got destroyed. That's not good. Yeah, I'm taking him a lot more damage than I would like. Right now. Mind you, I'm not a good player. Just just to put that out there real fast. Are these guys actually... Wait, are you... Please move a little bit forward, because I don't think they're actually engaging. Oh, fuck, what are you doing? What's going on? I need to retreat these guys. Please smoke, please smoke, please smoke, because if they die, that will be a problem. And I need points. That's also an issue. <laughs> Still have these guys, but I need to. Okay, let's retreat them from there. I'm gonna set them up over here. It seems we have our ally now attacking on Lima, so that's pretty good. Yeah, this seems to be a pretty heavy, uh, heavy guard area. Let's hit that because they've got mortars and we've got the uh, the Rolands there. That's a Roland. That's the Strella. Strella AA system, which is a problem. Okay, so they killed that, they killed that, they were working on that. These gazelles um, are being resupplied. Roland can sit over here. It's fine. Let's move them a little bit over. Actually, I think I'm gonna move these over here. Supply as well. Okay, go forward. See if we can capture Juliet. 
Um, gate to some mortar teams. Oh shit, I forgot they got the Strella there. Because I'm a moron. Okay, they missed. Uh, get the other gazelles in. I need to destroy that. Uh, move forward to destroy that. Get those mortars done. Um... Okay, we didn't lose the AMX, the, the tanks. It's all called AMX. <laughs> Let's get another supply in. Because then we can retreat this one. Okay, I think we hit that, so I'm gonna see... Hmm. Okay, let's uh, move these guys uh, over there. Get these guys into here. So they we're now engaging pretty long uh, range from there. I'm hoping we can grab Oscar in this one, but we've lost two zones now, which is not that great. So our AI is really struggling on defending this one. We actually lost Echo as well. Um, yeah, this has been my experience so far, though, with this this DLC, and I think I I was a lot better in the other campaigns, but it seems that I just kind of suck. We captured two zones, we lost two zones. Um. You know, that's what you gotta work with. Let's see if we can, uh... Ooh. I got some... Wait, did that just die off, or...? We have no longer... Ah, uh, it might be that the friendlies are no longer... Okay, these guys are no longer have any infantry remaining, so I think I'm just gonna retreat them. Ah, oh, shit, I had both of them selected! <laughs> Playing like utter garbage. But we got some friendlies moving in. I got the AMXs moving in, so let's get them over here. Let's see if we can catch another zone. So we might not have the victory points right now. If you wanna get some if you wanna watch somebody that's actually good at this play, um you wanna watch um um Vulcan HD. He's, he seems to have a lot better grasp of how this game works than I do. Uh I enjoy playing it though, as bad as I am. Okay, we've got an attack coming in here. I feel like I lack some understanding of how this game is supposed to work. Um, that's not a, that's not a... I don't want to, you know, push that on the game. I want to push it on my own lack of skill. Um, right, that's the guys who retreated. Grab both of these, move them over here. So yeah, they're recapturing that. That's rather annoying. Oh, we've actually got some... Hmm. Can I tell you to attack this? Yeah. Can't see its actual range, though. So I don't know what its actual range is going to be. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's pretty close. So they're immediately, you know, dropping flares. To be expected. We actually managed to counteract an attack here. They mostly ran into some... Uh, um, I don't know what these t machines these are. Is these... Oh, they're German. So for some reason, they might have been American units, but it looks like they're our allies as, as mostly German units. All right, nice. We hit that... Uh... Okay, panicked, breaked off. Good. That is a Shulka. That is also a worry. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ah, oh, there's a lot of stuff pushing in here. Okay, so that's the first phase. We have no victory points. That's kind of crap. And if we've barely got any losses, if, if, if we compare it to... But uh, it doesn't mean that I'm actually doing well, so... It might be part of the campaign, right? It's your first, you're trying to... Your first few battles... Um, I haven't progressed really far on the other one. First four, few battles, you... Uh, um, you know, run a little bit lower on everything, and then you kind of... Slowly start building up. Um, 
I have to say though, we would we could really use some more MBTs. Um, I just don't have the points right now. Uh, okay, okay. So there's actually some operational locks. So we could retreat, but I think I'm gonna keep going. Got six stages left, and we got a next stage coming in. So it might might be just the way this campaign might work. I don't know. This is completely random. So uh, yeah, let's go to the event. Okay, we got nothing special coming up. Good. And uh, we're gonna do one or two more battles. It takes about thirty minutes per round ish. 20 to 30 minutes. It depends a little bit on... also depends on the speed you're playing at. So we're playing at speed 1, you can put it to speed 2, and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot more options there if you want to. Okay, so we can already see there's a little bit more of a uh, grouping over here. All my guys are rearmed. I still want to get that over there. So this is the second half of the day. I want to get these guys over here as well. These guys as well. Um, yeah, I think we'll be fine. I don't have any extra units in gold. We basically, what I did is I recalled, uh, I called on some extra reinforcements, right? So, so that, um, um, okay, get that Strella, please. I'm gonna retreat our, uh, our Roland, because without our Roland, I'm definitely gonna have a problem. Okay, we killed that. Good, move in. Um, did we lose one? No, okay, we didn't lose one, good. I'm just waiting for this Jaguar to be ready so we can Napalm Strike, uh, probably around- Ah, fuck, we have the Shulka here. Shit. Um... You know what, let's strike it over there. So potentially hit the, uh, Peshwetkas there. Maybe be able to hit the PT, so let's unload the Legion. I'm gonna start attacking that. There's all a heavy attack coming in here. And I'm completely reliant on these helicopters, which are getting shot to shit, which is a problem. Oh, crap. My HQ cannot defend that. Yeah, I'm not having a... not having the greatest time. <laughs> Holy shit, what kind of attack are we getting here? Like, what the fuck is going on? I need to retreat before that all gets destroyed. Like, holy shit, they are driving through the napalm there, but... I don't even know how I'm supposed to defend against this, man. So that is, like, some serious uh, retreat that I think I need to start pushing, pulling back. I've never had a campaign go so bad at the start. Yeah, good scout there, but that's uh, that's gonna be completely useless. Yeah, they're overrunning us completely. Holy fuck, what the hell's going on? Treat a little bit. Maybe I am supposed to lose this, I don't know, but this is my- This has been- uh, be honest, this has been my experience so far, that, and I think it might be a misunderstanding with me with regards to how this game works. Or just how these campaigns are being structured. Both are, of course possibilities. Zone lost. Okay, we got a lot of gazelles coming in, but... Yeah. Don't know. These guys are in a bad position, because they're in the water, so that should be a good target for us to hit. Uh, let's start trying to group up a little bit again. I have a couple of points left, so we should be okay with. Oh. Holy shit, yeah, single Strella, I think, in the rear. I don't know what is actually. Is that the Strella? Holy fuck. Yeah, it is. What the hell? Why is my aid air defense not that great? We've been firing for 15 minutes at those damn choppers. Should be able to reach them though, like seriously. Can you fire at that? Yeah. Hopefully we can hit that Shulka. I keep calling it Strella, but this is actually Shulka. I don't know if that actually hit it or not. 
Oh yeah, this because this is we this is what we're using. For, okay, we did not hit it, and that thing is engaging us. So I need to retreat them out of there because that's gonna be a pretty bad idea if I keep them alive in there. Yeah, we lost one of them completely, which is a big fucking problem. Um, we're not doing good. Like, what the hell? That attack was insane, and look at how much we can see. Um coming in like what the hell maybe i was supposed to defend instead of just trying to even attack this uh, we can move this a little bit further forward again set him up right there i'll get these guys to unload in the uh, buildings here and it's right about what i mean that the terrain isn't a hundred percent physically present because Vehicles and that kind of stuff start clipping into it, but it just basically means it's a defensive area, and I never really minded that. Um, a game like Broken Arrow might actually do that a little bit better, but it doesn't really matter that much to me. Let's see what we can do over there. Let's call in some more gazelles. Got some more AMX in. Okay, we got a supply going. Alright. Yeah, look at the amount coming in. Like, this is the same trouble I ran into in my Dutch campaign. Um, where I just keep getting overwhelmed by the sheer amount of enemy forces. And I don't know if that is... I don't know exactly... Don't know exactly what is causing that. Like, I don't feel like I'm playing a lot different than I did in my in the other campaigns. But maybe I am. Crap, I need to retreat those already. It's just numbers. Like, what the hell? This is medium difficulty. And I feel like I'm being outnumbered by such a ridiculous amount. Like, we're killing a lot. Like, don't get me wrong. We are killing, like, a serious amount of enemy units, but... What the hell, man? Hit those PTs with artillery. Yeah, I don't. I don't generate enough. To, I need to up my tactical support point gain because otherwise I can't really keep calling in airstrikes that I need. Um, just a few distance. Ah, it's not great actually. I found a good spot for these guys to sit at. Why is, there's trees here! Why is that not giving me cover? Oh, uh, this would be. Um, you know what? I need to get the 30 bees back in. Uh, yeah, we need nearly everything deployed that we can deploy, so... <sighs> There's still four out of four, so that's pretty good. So that was a, Like, we're killing pretty well right now. We've got good air defense coming in, but still, I'm, I'm a little bit worried. Like, and I was hoping that the AI would defend this area, but they seem to be completely crumbled. Like, it's almost... Like, feels a little bit like playing against two players while you're only having a one on your side, which isn't entirely fair, I guess, but... I don't know. I don't mind a challenge, by the way. I'm just trying to... I can't... I'm complaining... I'm not complaining. I am trying to uh, put into words, like, the... Um, like, trying to figure out, like, why am I struggling um, as much as I am. Maybe it's a reliance on helicopters that is just a very bad idea. I don't know. Um. I think we're going to pull these guys back now. And look at that. We just defeat... Like we, I was, I was starting to think like, hey, maybe I soon I can start 
thinking about getting a counterattack going, and the game's like, nah, nah, but brother, we're, we've got uh, we've got plans already what uh, we're gonna do. I'm gonna retreat these guys. Taking a lot of damage. Too much. Like, why are these guys not dying? Like, holy fuck. I don't know. What is my friendly AI doing? They're just sitting here. There's two divisions moving towards hotel. Oh. Well. Okay, good. Killed some more. One of the problems I'm running into might genuinely be the fact that I never didn't bring any artillery. Uh, but I had hoped that the helicopters were capable of... Uh, I didn't realize I picked up the 20 minute gazelles. Um, let's retreat these out, because I genuinely just don't really like them that much right now. God, we already lost one immediately. Fucking Strellas, man. Holy shit. Oh, they finally got my guy. Damn it. I didn't... Yeah, well, that is what it is. Um... I also started to understand, like, I never re realized some of this stuff, like, understanding these numbers in regards to these pips and how that works and blah blah blah. It's, like, super stu stu stupid. I've, been, I've got, like, 50-60 hours in this game already. It's just that I never 100% registered certain things, but just kind of like, oh, wait, that's not the amount of times you can call in the card. It's the amount of times that you... Because I'm used to Warno. It's the amount of um, uh, replacement vehicles that are available. Need to retreat that. Let's get this guy back in. Yeah, these guys are taking a fucking pounding, though. A little bit too much. Like, at the end of this battle, you're probably gonna see stuff like, Oh yeah, you killed, like, a metric boatload of guys. Yeah, fine, but... What the hell? Like, I wanna see the numbers of, of units that they pulled in. Because that's been insane, mostly, for me, as a... Okay, you're being hit by something? Okay, I got the Strella there. Let's immediately retreat. Let's get you a little bit more back. What the fuck's the range man of that thing? Stay out, stay out. Yeah, the, the ally... The, the enemy adapted well enough to... Uh, to, uh, to our... Uh, helicopter spam that we are seeing... Uh, I definitely need to get the HQ in because it boosts our performance pretty good. Uh, there's still this is still three out of four, so you know if we can get them to be resupplied, shit, 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 retreat them. They're moving the strollers into range. It's gonna be really difficult for me to maintain them because I think it takes me much more time to destroy them than to get any real advantage out of them. So let's just destroy that. Like, the kill count is 100% in our favor. Um, but that's that's literally all there is. <laughs> okay. And it's, I, I think I just need more APCs, more infantry. I think that might be the big uh, mistake that I've made. You get a lot of very expensive machines, but not the ability to just, you know... Um, I wouldn't say use them because it would not be accurate, but the ability to um, just put, you know, bodies on the field. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. I think I'm going to just uh, reverse. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's reverse for now. Uh, no, 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 no. Retreat those guys. Okay, this guy gives me enough, uh... Like, in theory, we should be able to hit those damn Strellas. I want to get trees of you over there. Mm. 
Yeah, we're losing heavily. <sighs> and I really don't know exactly why. I thought, I thought we were doing pretty okay early on, but it turns out we uh, we're not weren't. <laughs> Also, my APCs are kind of trash, to be honest. Seems to be very lightweight. Uh. Hey, we took something back and we managed to defend Fox, right? So I, I, I call that a, a pretty, pretty good going. It's something, right? These guys are f almost nearly fully loaded up. And we're starting getting some unit experience, so that's also pretty good. So we're definitely getting through somewhere. And we might have now gone through like the majority of, of what the enemy has to throw at us. Because I think they are limited by what they can chuck at us. Um, so that, that is something as well. Okay, he's rolling. I think I'm going to need to move him up because they're trying to... Um, yeah, that's some random infantry crap. We can hit that. Okay, this supply thing is empty. Maybe I should not then. <laughs> okay, HQ got in place. That means everybody's got some more, you know, experience to work with. Okay, we'll treat you. Set this guy up over here. My problem right now is I have no scouts to 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 really scout that out. Um, I think I need some more deployment points, or use less gazelles. That would also be an option. Because I have no clue what to expect anywhere. So that was this would work fine. So let's put them over here. Yeah, that's what I mean. There is still just there's just dudes there, and I just didn't know. And I know that's the name of the game, but uh, I I just need to get these VLTs going. They've got such good scout rating and very good stealth, so that are likely super useful. Okay, got them suppressed, killed it. Nice, good. Okay, move on there. They're moving on to Papa, which is... I don't think we're going to capture that. We might be able to get Juliet back. But this is going to be the last phase, so we're just trying to get as many uh, of, of these points back for the next one. So let's uh, load up. Um, they should be... Uh, they should be... Oh, no, they're one the other way around. Go in. There we go. Now move over there. Um, uh, let's move you out. Shit, nope. Let's get you going into there. Already got a massive counterattack coming in. That's a problem. Ah, I need to retreat that. It's gonna be... Fuck. Ah, we got Strellas already. Look, my artillery is not doing well. Hit the Shulka, sorry, Shulka is not Strellas. Um, you move over there. Um, yeah, these tanks are going to go overrun. Yeah, they're panicking, that's bad. I had hoped that we've run through most of what they had to offer, but it looks like uh, yeah, these guys are out, so let's just call them back. Not doing too great, I'll be honest. Not doing too great. I don't think we're gonna keep this one. I I'll barely think we're gonna keep Kilo, so yeah. We didn't lose anything this 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 round. At least unless unless I oh no, wait, I think we did lose something over No, they might have taken it last time already. But uh yeah, I don't know. Not doing too great. Well, for those who thought this game was too easy. 
Um, when you're bad, I think, because I think that might be the main, main problem. It isn't that easy. Oh yeah, that, that f fucking Shilka, man. Oh, my tanks got, uh, got annihilated. Yeah, we're gonna lose that. I need to retreat. Um, why did it not give me the... Wait, what? There you go. Can give me the reverse move. Yeah, I need to retreat this one. If I, I just probably won't be even retreating time. Come on, hit those tank hunters. Game looks beautiful, by the way. Like I always have done. Always been really impressed with uh, with the visual fidelity of this game. Well, they're gonna get engaged by a lot of stuff. I don't know why we're not firing. Problem is, like, twofold. We're losing too many units, so I can't sustain the engagements for long enough. Because we need to use a lot of our uh, tactical points to be gaining at the end. Which we are not even gaining, because oh, I'm gonna lose another zone. How the hell am I supposed to survive against such reckless hate? Like, look at that! Like, look at those numbers! Look at those numbers! Like, we've killed, like, such a huge amount of units. Like, we lost 170. We killed 645. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, next phase. <laughs> God, this is difficult. Identify the forces to seize key objectives. You will have to operate with limited forces. Delayed operations to reorganize troops, restoring some of the lost units and regaining supplies at the cost of some victory points. Well, I don't have any victory points, so rest and organize would make the most fucking sense right now. Uh, upgrading this doesn't do anything for me. It gets me the Jaguar Air Patrol, but we, there's no real reason for, me, reason for me to use it. So I think I need to get the Armor Task Force to get some more... Um, like, tanks on the field... Alternatively, we can get the Mechanized Task Force, which will give me... Um, this is still 10... Oh, wait, these might be better. Yeah, let's go for the Mechanized Task Force. Also slightly cheaper. Um, I need some more... Uh, definitely deployment points, because I got... Okay, so rest and organize. Uh, spend some on that one. And that's basically all I can do for now. And let's do a attack and seize key objectives. Take as much ground as possible. I think I'm gonna try the main plan. Extra barrage tactic is available during this phase. So let's see what we can do. I'm gonna do one more. It's about 20 minutes per match. So that gives me about a video that's slightly over an hour long. And you get a good idea of what this has to offer, and that this game is pretty damn difficult, actually. What the hell? It keeps kicking my ass. If you, by the way, have any feedback, I know I don't play this a whole lot on the channel, but if you have any feedback for me, please give it, because I really enjoy this game. And I, uh, but I, I am pretty bad at it, so that is, um... So, victory points, we did scout from enemy forces, and then just kind of figure out... I'm trying to see, so we've got Delta over here, which is pretty close to an enemy point, and we have Echo over here. Echo is definitely going to be more troublesome. So we're going to try to... So we're going to take the city here, quickly strike out for Kilo, because it's otherwise be in my rear, and then we're probably going to go for November Juliet and then Delta India, and just try to, to secure this. We're going to ignore the, uh, the area over there for now and see what we can do. So, for our first, we need the VLTs to go over there. Just fast move right over there. Uh, then I want... I want two tank battalions to move towards the city. 
Uh, we definitely want our HQ on Roland. Put him in a city as well. With a supply crew. Uh, I want these in the city as well. I got some armored recon. Uh, I think we're going to keep these for now in reserve. Uh, one group should be able to do. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's go. We have some extra artillery barrage we can use uh, rather cheaply, so that's pretty good. Um, I guess that might be the downside of you like being reliant on like, these Jaeger uh, napalms is that they are super expensive, but they have pretty fast reload times. So it's pretty good. So, yeah. yeah, so from here, we need to make a quick detour to just secure Kilo. It is 46 points, that's rather nice. I think it should go for November as a good cross point, and then we'll probably put this in as a staging ground for our HQ, and then we can strike out for Juliet, or maybe Juliet as a staging ground. Maybe put our scouts right there, and then we can just uh, probably strike directly at Delta, put India in the rear, and then I kind of hope I can just keep some crossfire, so maybe move from over there or something. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll have to see, but for now, that is the that's the plan. Uh, these VLTs. Okay, let's uh, send you guys over here. And let's put the HQ over here. I'll get some tanks ready. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. This can go over here. The supply crew can probably... That's fine, let's put them over here. Set these guys up here. Now, I don't know if there will be any enemy counterattacks or anything like that. I expect them. Okay, so so far I haven't seen anything yet. That worries me. Okay, there we go. No, pick something up. Now, nah, can we immediately surprise? We don't actually know what it is. Okay, so it's mechanized infantry. What are these exactly? So we don't know exactly what it is. It does look. Like, okay, we they, these are some this is some very light stuff. Okay, we're immediately getting hit by artillery that's coming from over there, so we just gotta just counter battery fire that group. It's pro that's from range consideration. I don't think that's gonna be mortars. And let's just hit that with the helicopters. What we might be able to do is strike in from the rear because they're pretty dug in from here. You, we do see the infantry dying quite a lot, so that's pretty good. I think I'm not going to let these gazelles rearm from here. We're just going to cycle them out, just retreat them when they're empty. Ah, there we go. We got some more units, so why don't we retreat up? I said retreat. Oh god, make the mistake constantly, showing my rear. Artillery stop, that's good. Got some other artillery coming in from over there. Alright, I want to start moving forward a little bit. Uh, What's the... That's the APC. Is these the good ones? No, these are the shitty ones. So the 10Ps are better than the FAPs. Okay, makes sense. Ooh, that's not good. The vehicles are still good, so we can repair the damage. We just lost one because fuck me, I guess. That'll, that'll teach me saying that we were still fine. Yeah, I have nothing to dislodge these guys. That's that's my current struggle most. The biggest struggle that I'm having is that I can't have anything really to dislodge them. Let's, uh, let's move supply up and retreat these guys a little bit because we're losing vehicles. Oh yeah, no, 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 just retreat, just retreat. Should smoke up and... Because that's definitely not a good one. Saw the spot pop up there, I don't really have anything that I can do. These guys should be starting to get repaired. Hopefully. Hmm. 
like I said, I have nothing to dislodge this because I have no, no artillery. And that's my own mistake, mind you, right? That's not something that I'm going to hold against the game. I hold very little against this game. I think this game is pretty good, like I said before. If I can quickly kill these, we can just strike the tanks with the helicopter. Okay, they retreated. Good. Um, I think I just want to quickly put you in there. Keep them over there. We'll uh, grab the fusiliers. Okay, where are the helicopters? There we go. Gazelles. Let's just circle around, hit them in the rear. So yeah, these are being repaired. That's good. Move the forward a little. Okay, these guys are gonna. Oh, fucking artillery, man. Uh, the fact that I can't have any effective. Oh my god, I just didn't realize I got an HQ right there. Oh, that's that's funny. If we can hit, destroy these. Stop firing at those guys. Hit these T-55s. Shit. I don't know. I don't even know what's hitting them because I can't see any incoming fire. We're gonna lose those helicopters. Might be these HQ units here that's been just... Yeah, some... Yeah. Fuck. <sighs> Meanwhile, we're completely suppressed by artillery fire coming in. Just, just fucking strike that with a napalm. Hopefully, maybe I can just do something like this. Got these Jaguars, looking good by the way. Get some better view maybe on them. Can't track them, that's... Oh! Please don't panic, please don't panic. I don't know if they... Okay, they dropped the ordnance, but they missed. Uh, ish. Burning up some... Burning them up good. Okay, good. Okay, and there's another unit on point. Well, keep driving, keep driving, keep driving. I need them to get into here because we want to get them out of range of that. Okay. Go get them. And just pound them, I guess, because I don't really know what else we can actually fucking do here. Uh, we can strike these guys, actually. Holy shit. Like, these are BTRs! Come on, man! You should be able to fucking dislodge them, but nope. Ah. Spent 15 minutes attacking a fucking position, having very little success. So, their HQ unit is actually, uh, pretty good. Oh, that artillery is, uh... Very nicely hitting nothing. Okay, they hit something. Okay, this was has retreated. Actually, let's not do that with these guys. Let's use these guys. They're also faster. And meanwhile, we're constantly getting peppered by fucking artillery. Uh. <laughs> it is. It is what it is. We're we're running with the with what we have. Sorry, I'm a BTR sixties. Are complete garbage vehicles. They should not, we should not struggle that much with, with dislodging these guys. Also, I have the f this is why I usually p pump accuracy a little bit higher. I know there's some, you know, that, that, that it's pretty, can be pretty, uh, bad idea to do so. But the reason I usually do it is because of the, um, I find units in this game miss too much. Uh, too many of their attacks are, are unsuccessful than uh, what I would expect. 
kind of units are these? Oh, these might be tank HQs. That might explain a little bit. I don't know what exactly they are. Oh, you're out of ammo. Let's get you out of here. Uh, this is my reconnaissance helicopter. Get these guys back in. Wait, these guys got hit? Huh. Okay, you're down four. Okay, let's move you over here. Let's, uh... Uh, let's get these scouts, uh... I don't know how well... Our vision range is super high, but we're not gonna see. Uh, so far, I don't think we're getting counterattacks, so that's actually fairly positive. Uh, you're in range, so I don't know why they're not engaging them. Uh, apparently that range thing is bullshit, so... Hmm. I don't know exactly why that is, but whatever. Should be outraging those, those BMPs. Let's see if we can uh, go into that. Quickly just check in the rear with these AMXs, because I do want to get this HQ destroyed if I can. I know my objective was to scout units, so I've still got 20 minutes left, we'll be fine. It's immediately being met with heavy artillery. Okay, so just get these guys out of here. Let's see, this is why we have scout units. Uh, because I have no idea what the hell's, hell's I can expect. So let me just see if I can drive through. Nope, nope. Hit those AT units. Do you guys get in there? Unload! Ah! There's some other units over there. Wow, we started with a pretty impressive plan. Uh, and we're, we're failing miserably. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm trying. All right, you destroyed them. Let's retreat. So cool. Okay, we we we're gonna get at least forty six extra points at the end of the thing. Unload these fusiliers. Please face these head on. Hit those guys, because they are a lot more threatening. These are, by the way, this means that they're basically anti-tank units. These are 9P148, and they're basically an APC with a uh, rocket rack, guided missile rack. I don't think they're coronets they're firing, but I don't know exactly what they're firing. I'm actually going to retreat these guys a little bit backwards, because... I think that might be my primary problem right now, is that I have nothing that I can use to outrange, because I stubbornly did not pick up any uh, um, artillery units. Uh, let's see, get supply truck over here. Call these guys back in. I have a lot of points in the in the, in the tank, so there's some. Uh, A range in these guys. Almost. Hold on. Can you reach them from like this forward position? I'm waiting for these guys to be repaired because there's still two out of three. Uh, I'll wait the points. So I'll just uh, strike that. Alright. I want these guys to go over here and then move here and there. Uh, actually, go over there. Are you feeling out of your depth? Yes. Quite a lot. Uh, that's what they meant with, with you have less units. I think all my divisions are one unit smaller than what they normally would have been. That makes sort of sense. It annoys me, but... Alright, so hopefully with these, we could just get to the flank here, hit them in the side. Kinda of wish they wouldn't fire yet though. Hold fire. 
Oh, never mind. Well, I guess we're not flanking that route because I already saw the uh, Shuka. Is that a Shuka or Estrella? God knows. Probably God doesn't even know. Okay, let's move these guys up. Okay, I hope my Roland has the range. I don't know if these are... Okay, they're suppressed, that's good. Oh, you're empty, you're empty. Shit. Okay, they're gonna hit by a lot of stuff. Unload. You know what? That's a bad idea because of that dug-in guy. Ah, hey, you know what? Fuck it, let's try it. <laughs> Alright. I need just, you to move over here. Fast, move. There, go. Like, I'm wasting, like, a fuck ton of ammunition on trying to engage these groups. I'm hoping with the Strella actually now focusing on me here. It actually, if the Shuka, sorry. It doesn't, uh, I guess it, Shuka is like, yeah, that guy. Well, that guy's dead. I don't know why this guy's moving forward. Probably because it's the infantry. Um, the Shuka should burn up. I retreat these guys. They're just gonna move up. And I don't know if there's any other bits here, but. Okay, cool. I can get a helicopter in now. Clear that out. This is a moment where also my DCS brain starts getting, um, um, I wouldn't say annoyed, but it activates as in a sense of like oh i would like to fly some have some cast missions going here or some seed uh not cast um seed missions or deed uh missions because the way i am annoyed by how this currently is functioning like i'm not gonna get any victory points out of this i need to still scout but i've only seen nine units and i've already bleed bled through most of my shit uh i could use the um recon helicopter uh, the Gazelle 20 mil to do some more scouting. I don't know. Okay, these guys are fine. They're just really damaged. Um, let's see... Okay, so there's not really a way for me to look into that village. Wait, why is, why is it so... Oh, that tree line is actually kind of, kind of blocking. That's interesting. Gazelle Hot is under attack. By what? What? Tank group in my rear? Oh, my shit biscuits. Get these guys over there. Where are my tanks? Oh, I just need 100 points. I don't have 100 points. Shit. Okay, you go out because you're empty. Uh. Okay, I need to- I need these guys to repair first before I start really... Shit, fuck, tits. <laughs> Crap. How fast do you want to get demonetized? Yeah, like, really fast right now, I guess. Hit these fuckers! <laughs> They're going for Kilo! It's the only thing I have! <laughs> Are you crying? No, shut up, you're crying. Uh, kill him! <laughs> ah, we lost him. Find them, please. Flip. Shit. <laughs> okay, is this a hill? No, this is just a forest. I thought because of the discoloration, it might have been a hill. Okay, get in there. Get in there. Uh, maybe you can spot something from this spot. Oh man, what are these T-55s? Okay, they're dead, good. Christ. 
kick over here. Maybe we can start hitting India with something. I don't know. Okay, just catch that. <laughs> it's not going well. Mob panic attack. No, I'm not, by the way. I'm, j j I'm joking, but still. We're not doing that great. Wait, when am I get HQ get clipped? Ugh. Okay. I actually think this might be the better angle because I think their their defenses will probably just be that way. Uh, I kind of want to get this hill. Um, but I first want to see something. Oh fuck it. We'll we'll, we'll try. Okay, let's find the Strella. Or the Shilka. Oh, that's neither of them. That's bad. That's not good. Oh god, are these these are my 10 piece? Oh, they're getting fucked up. Okay, we just hit most of the infantry, but we did lose a helicopter. I, oh my god, I they don't know what the hell that is, but it is firing at my helicopter. Very angrily. Let's hit that with artillery. Okay, we actually did manage to overrun that group. Good. What a fucker shut down my helicopter. I don't like that. Yeah, probably should retreat those actually, now that I think about it. I might actually be able to take Juliet though. Well, I got eight minutes left. Yeah, it would be fine. Got some more stuff coming in. Okay, some RT popping from that end. Just gonna... Yeah, just gonna actually hit this bit here. I'm annoyed for the fact that I can't see shit in here because it's nearly entirely in a forest. Uh, this struck my 20 mils as well. Flip fuck titties, I need to get something done. Oh god, okay, you guys, just go over here, man. I need to get something in there. Uh, I got rockets coming at me as well. That's not good. Oh well. Yeah, I think the idea with this with this mission is that you just do not engage enemy positions, and I am a moron and I am engaging enemy positions. You should just scout out units and just leave it as is, but... Uh. You know, I kind of want to give it a try at least, right? Yeah, they shouldn't be seeing us once. Yeah, no, they shouldn't be able to see us anymore. Okay, these guys need to retreat. We spotted another unit over there, and there's a unit definitely over there, and that unit died. Well, shit. Alright, we got a couple more units over there. That's not great. We can move these probably in the corner. Okay, we got a good ambush position on over there. These are some BTR 70s and BTR 60s. So the 60 is. Yeah, BTRs in general aren't too scary. The problem is these are armored cars, so they're not, you know, great either. Oh, man. Yeah, too late. I retreated these too late. I think they're gonna die. Fuck. It feels to me, okay, and this is just my expression. I think the problem is right now I have no artillery, so I can't literally cannot dislodge anything, and I'm currently start struggling getting stuff dislodged. Um, and these gazelles are not doing it. They are terrible. Uh, I'll be brutally honest, they are not that good. Or I'm using them wrong. You know, I'm not an expert at this game. But, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm uh, grasping at straws here. Doesn't mean like it's the DLC is bad. No, the DLC is fucking great. I I am enjoying myself. I'm just trying to scratch my head and what I could do differently because my kill counts are pretty good. At least they were in the previous missions. I don't know what they will be in this one. So, kind of wondering what I'm doing wrong. Because I have the feeling that I'm doing something wrong. 
especially considering and this might be just that they really improved the AI skill or that it did something along those lines because I, I don't remember being this bad at this game. I'll keep out of distance of those guns. Unload these fusiliers. Fusilier would probably be more accurate in this case. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got those cleaned up. Good. We know there's a guy over there, so we maybe want to hit it like this. Uh, this guy's empty, so let's just retreat it back. Go like that. Get some more groups in. Ah, yeah. I don't know. Like, I can see from, like, how everything is going that I am not doing great. I just don't feel like I'm doing really bad for some reason. I have no clue what that is. Now, this might have been a two-day operation where you just need to scout out uh, 50, uh, 30 units over two days. And because we try decided that we needed a day to, to recoup, which I think is completely fair because we got our ass handed to us in the mission before. It's becoming quite negative. Wait, is the guy dead? Okay, that might be better. So we can actually start sending you over like that. Uh, why don't we put you over here? And why don't we start putting you then in the forest so we can flank from two ends and ignore what's directly in front of it? Because that would be probably the best idea. All right, we're going to move this entire group in here. Including the supply. There we go. No, they're still here. What the hell? Why are they so well, well hidden? I don't know. Whoa, why the hell are these guys taking so much damage? There's another unit there. Holy shit. Okay, that's one unit dead. I think I'm just gonna hit this. Oh, that's... This was an entrenched unit as well. Um... No, I want you to... Like that. Oh, like that. Something hit me with fire, and it wasn't me this time around. Shit. Well, we got another zone captures. That's pretty positive, I think. I think whatever was over there is dead. Hopefully. This is a really dense forest. I think I should go slightly further to the edge, because then I can start looking a little bit forward. We should allow us to get some vision. Okay, that target looks to be gone, then. Uh, yeah, so we want to... Move out here. Move out here. Actually, I'm gonna send. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit, that's bad. Okay, I need to retreat those guys. I hope they don't circle them around. Now, we did discover another unit, so we did 11. So let's just, uh. You know, hit that immediately. These AMX uh, tendencies are pretty great, actually. Um. I'm gonna try to just attack. Yeah, we can get another chopper group in. Kind of want to hit the... Uh, let's see, there they are. Why the hell are we... Did we not spot them? Yeah, within vision range, so... And there's something more in here that I can't see. Need to retreat that. Get the gazelles out. Okay, hit them in the rear. Hit those tanks. 
I also don't have any like dedicated AT units other than the gazelles, but the, these gazelles are performing like crap. I should not have taken that that unit. That might have been working for I don't know something like a different style of group, but definitely not the the one that I am playing right now. Okay, those got retreated. Nice, because we got them at the flank. But these guys are actually are doing quite a lot of damage, which is a problem. I think there's another group in the city that I can't see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, even... look at that. Even with being on fully on offensive and then like having the complete defensive advantage, we still outperformed them um, in losses. So that's what I mean. I feel like I'm doing good, right? On average, I am definitely killing a lot more enemies than that I, I am losing. Yeah, I lost uh s s four helicopters and two um i think i lost more <laughs> whatever it doesn't matter i don't know what the difference is between the first two but yeah like i feel i'm doing good but it is just not being represented in 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 the in in, in the phases so that is my biggest worry right now is that i i cannot keep up with with uh yeah, with the entire thing, <laughs> like holy shit, it's been it's been it's been brutal. So can I call on another group? Like the only French group that has some AT would be this recon task with the VAP hots, which I don't think too many of my units are very very squishy. And these B2s are better, I believe, than the ones that I have because currently I've just just got AMX thirty Bs, which is this one. So what's the difference? Um, armor eight eight two two. So yeah, eight eight two two. Is it is this one then up armored? No, it's the same. I think it's faster. Yeah, sixty five versus uh seventy five. Yeah, it is just faster. Got some auto cannon. Oh, that might be also new on the auto cannon. No. But yeah, no, I'm, I don't do this, but I'm having fun. I'm definitely having fun. It's just that uh, I am pretty uh, terrible at the game. I think that's pretty clear so far. Um, but yeah, no, I am enjoying myself. I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty good game. Uh, I think the DLC has been incredibly good value for money. Um, so with that in mind yeah if you if you liked what you've like if you like this is just more of the same right so if you like what you've seen before you really should uh take a look at the at this dlc as well and i think it's going to be uh pretty good yeah so with that said i want to thank you guys for watching so up in the next one a very good day and bye bye